Sharon Osborne, very excited, co-host of the talk. Great to have you here. When your daughter was last here, she gave me this button. I belong to Sharon. That's right. I told her, I said, do not get too close to Anderson. <laughs> He's mine. <laughs> but one thing I must say, you and Kelly yeah. have a extremely great chemistry She's together. wonderful. She is so great, and she's so beautiful, and she seems so happy and good. I'm so happy you I think so. I think you guys should do a show together. Uh, yeah, well, okay. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Done. Done and done. Done and dusted. Done and dusted. Uh, we've yes. got a great show today. Um, we've got this uh, incredible thing. You know, everybody is interested in plastic surgery in one form or another. We're doing not a, me, of course. Not you, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> never, never. Uh, we're actually looking at botched plastic surgery nightmares. We're going to hear from two I'm women. Here. What, no. One woman <laughs> went for a routine tummy tuck, ended up with a hole in her stomach. Another cannot, hey. says she can't even close her eyes after uh, trying to get an eye procedure done. But whether it's a pedicure or Botox, we're going to give you all, all the advice you need, three things you need to know before any kind of beauty treatment. Because nowadays it seems like everybody does beauty treatments. Like you go to your dentist and they're offering beauty treatments. Everything, and I'm obsessed with it all and I had, had it all done. So <laughs> I am the all. right guest today for you. We did not plan this around you at no, all. I no, I know, but it's fabulous. Now you say you've had it all done? Everything. Everything. <laughs> There's not one thing I haven't had lifted, cut, or sewn back on. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. What's, what's the most painful? The most painful was probably a leg lift. A leg lift? Yes. Why did you, why did you have a leg lift? Well, I had them both done, not just one. Well, I guess if you're, if you're going to do your legs, it would make sense to have two. But, two. but what does a leg lift entail? I mean, it's like pulling on a pair of socks. When you do this, they pull your leg up. Oh, no. Cut and then re it. No. Quite fabulous. Yes. But <laughs> I thought, I tell you what, they wake you up because they want you to start moving around after all this surgery. So they woke me up. And I said, you've sewn my legs together. <laughs> I felt like they had literally sewn them together. Wait a minute. So wait a minute. Let me just understand. They cut your leg and then they just pull the skin. Uh, it's like putting on a stocking? Yes. Why on the earth? Why on earth would you need that? Because it was hanging down, and I wanted it tight. <laughs> wow! I, that hurts. That is a. But <laughs> anyway, um, I wouldn't advise it. Wow. No, I wouldn't. Advise no. It. Well, I'm good. And Glad because I, I, I. It's awful when you've had that done. Really? Oh, wicked. I don't really want to visualize that. <laughs> Why? Well, I don't know. It just seems I don't know. But I'm sure your legs were were, were fine. I mean, no, 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 no. All right. All right. All right. Go on. Uh, so anyway, we have, <laughs> we'll talk more about this. Um, I, I just want to get everyone up to date. Uh, you know, there was this horrible mall shooting yesterday, which I ended up covering uh, late into the night last night. Um, two people uh, killed. Uh, the gunman uh, also uh, took his own life. Uh, in this mall, we're seeing a lot of video. Joining us on the phone is actually the under sheriff, Matt Ellington, from uh, Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. Appreciate you being with us. Well, what's the latest on this? Any idea of what the motive of this shooter was? Well, good morning. And first of all, we'd like to just say that our thoughts and prayers go out to the families of the victims of this horrible act of violence and to the one surviving victim who's currently in the hospital. Um, as far as motive goes, it's too early in the investigation to tell what the motive is, but what I can tell you is that so far we don't see any connection between the shooter and the victims. So it doesn't seem like this was a case of a disgruntled worker going back uh, to the mall uh, because that was one of the early things. Wonder, people wondered if you know, they were targeting somebody, but it, you're saying at this point it doesn't seem like that was the case. 
Uh, correct. At this point in the investigation, that does not seem to be the case. I was amazed how, how quickly police seem to be on the scene um, and how many different, you know, police uh, agencies were involved. You guys had triage units set up outside that mall as we were covering it, um, as we were covering it last night. Do you know much about the shooter at this point? Um, well, you know, it was actually amazing how many uh, law enforcement uh, officers we had there from both the uh, state and local and, and federal levels. Uh, in fact, we had officers on scene within a minute. Um, but this is something that we'd, we'd plan for. You know, we have a large facility like that um, in our county. Um, you know, we hope that something like this never happens. Um, but it's something that uh, we'd planned and trained for. Yeah. Well, I talked to so many eyewitnesses last night who literally saw this person running through the Macy's with what they described as a uh, sort of a, a hockey mask, like as worn in sort of those Jason Friday the 13th movies. A lot of people taking videos of themselves as they were leaving the malls. Um, but people actually saw this, uh, this gunman with a hockey mask running through the Macy's with the gun um, and then starting to open fire in the sort of the food court area outside the store. It's one of those unthinkable things. Uh, uh, Deputy, I appreciate you being with us today, and I know you've got a lot to go in your investigation, and we wish you the best in that. And, of course, as I said, our, our thoughts certainly, uh, we, we echo Matt, uh, our thoughts and our prayers are with the families of those, uh, of those uh, who went through this and, and who are... Uh, uh, have had their lives forever changed by those who have lost loved ones. So, Matt Ellington, appreciate that. Thanks very much. Um, it, it's unthinkable. I mean, th these kind of things happen. And Why at this time of year always, always, always there is something like this that happens at this time of year? It brings out these emotions in so many people yeah. that are Well, thank disturbed. goodness it wasn't on a, even on a Friday night or on a Saturday where there could have been even more kids at the mall or something. You know, it was a Tuesday afternoon or at 3.30 local time. So um, another story making headlines, which is interesting on a, on a much lighter note, uh, it, there's a, an interesting video that we saw online, and there's a petition now on change.org. A, a young girl wanted to get an Easy Bake Oven for her little brother, mm -hmm. who likes Easy Bake Ovens, right. and went to buy one, but found that they only come in pink and purple and wanted to know why they don't make Easy Bake Ovens in colors for, that a boy would like. So she made this video. Take a look. Why don't they have any boys in the Easy Bake Oven commercial? You think they should put boys, right? Yeah. Because boys like to cook too, right? Uh -huh. That was my little brother, my favorite chef in the world. He said it himself. Girls are the only ones who are supposed to cook. Is this really the message we want to send to our youth? <laughs> so oh, now... Bless. <laughs> bless. She's absolutely right. Yeah. So now, absolutely, I agree. So now a lot of chef, like high-profile chefs are getting on board saying, yeah, Easy Bake, you know, there, there are a lot of male chefs. They should. Of course. So male chefs are putting out uh, videos on YouTube as well. And now I think Hasbro, the company that makes Easy Bake Ovens, is actually going to meet with this girl on, on Monday to, uh, to discuss it. Um, so I think that's kind of cool that, that she got a response that's from the toy amazing. company on this. What a bright girl to do that. Yeah. I mean, she could start a whole business on her own. Uh, she's a young entrepreneur. A young entrepreneur. Good yeah. The other thing, I know you're obsessed with this as well. I've been obsessed all week with Darwin the monkey. Okay. <laughs> Don't get me started. Darwin the monkey escaped in, the, uh, in an Ikea over the weekend. In a I don't think the word escaped is right because I think Darwin was just looking for its mum. You, you Didn't think? escape. Was just looking well, for its mum. Well, where is the picture of Dar Darwin in the shearling coat? Because that's really Outside the picture the that has captured my heart. No. Darwin was, I guess, in a car. For some reason, the, the owner brought Darwin to the mall and left Darwin in a car, in a, in a, in a, cage. In, in a cage. Darwin got out of the cage, figured out how car. to get out of the car, gets into the parking lot, and then gets into... Ikea. Uh, gets into Ikea. And it's looking for its mum. And is running around Ikea. These are some new photos of Darwin that we've got. Now, the owner, uh, who's only had Darwin for like five months, says that they want uh, Darwin back. Um, well, of course, it's their child. Well, it's not their child. It's their monkey. But monkeys are people, too. Well, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, well, not technically, yes, but 
but I mean, but, uh, but I mean, yes. Didn't you see gorillas in the mist? No, I know, no. Yes, monkeys share much really? of our DNA, that's true. Yes. But it's, uh, but I just, I don't know. It's not good to have exotic animals as pets. G generally, it's not. And yes. I absolutely agree with you, but this is Darwin. Yeah. And. Darwin wears a shilling coat and designer <laughs> diapers, and this is somebody's child. And there are exceptions to every rule, and this monkey has been domesticated, has a mum, and see, needs its mum. What are I, they going to do? It. Take Darwin out of the coat, yes, out of the diapers, and put it in a cage? Yes, you know what? Monkeys have existed for thousands of years without being in shearling coats. <laughs> Not, listen. But somehow then, they've survived. Then, I don't know how. Then, then should we go back to being cavemen and living in a cave? No! Your logic makes no sense whatsoever. How dare you! <laughs> I am a professional! <laughs> Oh, no, the, uh, the Darwin, I talked to uh, the... I feel like I'm on CNN, by no. the way. This is fabulous. Darwin has been brought... Breaking news! Darwin has been brought to a... Uh... Can you see me on CNN? I can see you, uh, yes, Breaking actually. News, Darwin yes. has been brought to an animal sanctuary, a primate sanctuary. <laughs> We have mics. You don't need that mic. No, but I feel more newsy. You feel newsier. newsier okay, yeah. no, that's fine. I, can I come with you when you go on, like, to those foreign countries, not to that horrible Egypt place where they hit you? I will <laughs> never go there. But, and when you go on your expeditions, can I come? I would love you to I'll come on my your, expeditions. I'll do your makeup and wardrobe just yes. to be with you to feel professional. If you had been there in Egypt, they would not have hit me, I'm sure. No, because I would have had them down on the floor them. That's my boy. <laughs> you know, headlock. Have you ever gotten in a fight? Yes, really? unfortunately. You've gotten in fights? Yes, I have. How have you, when, when, was you, when were you in a fight? <laughs> like fisticuffs, like full on? I uh, know I'm not like that. Like a bar fight? No, no, no. More elegant, just a slap on the face. Oh. Yes, more dramatic. Who did you slap? Several people. <laughs> really? Yes. It was very gone with the windish. <laughs> very gone with the windish. How dare you? One of those. I like that. Yes. I can see you doing that. Yes. You can slap me if you want. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I might slap your bum if you're naughty. <laughs> Right, we're going to take a, a quick break. We're going to have more of the first 15 when we come back, including two incredible fun and ten stories. we got to see the play. So, how are your dogs? I remember when I fell in love with you, uh, watching you on, on uh, the, the Osborne show years ago, you had, a, how many dogs do you have? Because you had a million dogs back then, and they pooped everywhere. Could you just say, fell in love with you again? Uh, yes, I did. I did fell in love with you. I, I, I loved watching you, because I loved watching your whole family and the way you guys interacted, and, you know, it was so unexpected that that would be how your family was, because it was such a real family and such a kind of a, 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 an interesting family and yet a, a family everybody could relate to. Thank you. Yeah. Um, my doggies, I still have a lot of doggies. Unfortunately, you know that show was 10 years ago now. Was it really? Really. And wow. so a lot of my doggies have passed since then. But oh. I, still, I still have a couple from, that were left from those days. Maggie, she's coming up 17. Mm -hmm. Crazy Baby, she's coming up 15. Mm -hmm. So I, I have, I think, 12 left now. You, wait. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I, I thought you were going to say, like, two. You have 12? Mm hmm Wow. Yeah. Do you, do you know all their names? How dare you? They're my children. <laughs> all right. Let's get back to Darwin uh, again. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I saw a picture recently, though, of a dog online that um, is so funny. It's a dog that looks like um, Mr. Burns on The Simpsons. <laughs> Go on. This is the cutest dog. Take a look at... This is a dog with... It's got this overbite. Come on. 
<laughs> I'm obsessed with this dog. Who owns this dog? I don't know. You need to dump on the show. I know, I know. I Why mean, is that dog not here now? Th there's, look at that. Look at, <laughs> I mean, that is totally Mr. Yeah. Burns. It's got some sort of an, uh, you know, overbite. I have stared at that dog. picture for for like an hour this morning, just looking at it. There's something about it I it's find got fascinating. It's character. Yeah. It's great then, character. then there's a couple of other dogs that people have been putting online, which are sort of camouflage dogs, which at first, when I was looking at the picture, I didn't even know I was looking at. Like there, do you realize you're looking uh, at a dog? Yes, yes. I didn't I even see. notice the dog at first. And then that one, I just thought was a bunch of blankets at first, and, and then I see the I dog. I have a doggy like that that goes on my rugs. Her name's Liberty, and she looks like that. Do your dogs still poop everywhere? Naturally. <laughs> Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> well, you can train them to, to not do that. No. No. No, they're feel dogs broken. Be, they're housebroken. Yeah. They poop in the house. <laughs> okay. There's this other, um, there's another trend uh, thing that I saw online that, that I have to tell you about. Come on. It's this new thing of, you know, last year we did a, a show about people who collect very lifelike baby dolls, baby mm -hmm. dolls that, that look incredibly lifelike. Yeah, a lot of women do that. Yeah, there's a new thing on vampire baby dolls, which I saw some pictures oh. of. Yeah, which are inspired obviously by the Twilight movies. And. I know. See, and there's little vampire teeth, and the eyes are red. It's from the Twisted Beanstalk oh, Nursery.com. These cost as much as six. I know, this one is really creepy. From this costs like six hundred fifty dollars and up. We actually have. Don't be ridiculous. We actually have. That's a face of a. I mean, the price of a nose job already. <laughs> we actually have one of the vampire. Babe. That's very disturbing. It's, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, look at the legs on it. And it does, it feels like... It's quite it, heavy. But I mean, you wouldn't want to, like, breastfeed with No, it. no, I... I <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very disturbing. It's very disturbing, I think. I think it's, it's kind of cool, actually, but... They're well done. No, yeah. They are very well done. But it's a bit scary, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Dear, what next? Now, I you're have... a grandmother. How's, how's that going? How do you like being a grandmother? Oh, now we're talking. Uh -huh. Well, uh, my Pearl. Have you seen pictures I've of seen Pearl? I've seen pictures of Pearl. We have some pictures of Pearl. Uh, Pearl's beautiful. Now, excuse me, does that... I have to put that yeah, away. Put, put... <laughs> that is a perfect... She looks like an angel. Yeah. And she has... She's brought so much life and love yeah. into our family yeah. that it's, look. I love her with the Aussie glasses. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We actually, do we have the side by side? Because um, she looks like, she looks sort of like Ozzy there. There you go. Yeah. 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 Very much. Nice. It's, it's amazing that a baby, that you know, the birth of a baby, the love that it can bring into a family and how from everybody being scattered around the world, living your lives suddenly, it brings you all back together again. Yeah. And she's just been... Oh, that's great. And especially for my son, he's had a really tough year, yeah. but yet an amazing year. Hmm. So it's, it's been a blessing. Oh, that's great. That's really, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm really happy. And you look amazing. Thank you. You look great. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you lost weight or something? Actually, I have, yes. <laughs> I have. I am now the face of Atkins. Oh, Atkins diet stuff? Yes. Oh, really? I decided I was not going to get to 60 and be an Oompa Loompa anymore. <laughs> so I decided... You were never an Oompa Loompa. I ish, I was. I've tried everything. I've always had a problem with my bum. Anyway, so... Um, they asked me uh -huh. if I would like to be the face because they, they thought I would be the right demographic. Uh -huh. And I do have a weight problem everybody knows I've had. I was born with the fat gene. Anyway. Um, so what do you eat? Oh, lots of Atkins food all the time. Uh -huh. Yes. And have I, you lost, you've lost weight? I've lost a lot of weight. And I find, I find it easy because it's stuff that is easy to get. It's not special 
food. You don't have to weigh it. You don't have to, uh -huh. you know, shake it up with some powder. You eat meat, fish, and vegetables, mm. and that's, there you go, you're done. So it's been great for me. And it's healthy, that's the most important thing. I am extremely a healthy woman. I'm very glad to hear it. Uh, we got to take another quick break. We'll be back more Sharon ahead. We'll be back.